Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to write a small JavaScript program that uh, is going to get a string containing uh, one too many characters. Uh, the script then goes through this script and tries to count the number of repetition for every character in that string. Let's go ahead and create this string first. So this can come from the user as well. So uh, I'll just create a variable that contains some value here. Okay. And uh, now what I have to do is, the very first thing is I have to split this string into a character or convert it, sorry, uh, convert this uh, string into an array so I can work with each character individually. So for that reason, I will just go ahead and create a variable called words and I will use the str function or string function called split and I will just put a double quote empty string as a delimiter. So what this does is it simply returns an array of all those character in this uh, str variable. Let me just run that before we go further so we can make sure the result is what we are looking for. So if I come over here, str is the value and then characters are what we got. As you can see, all those characters are divided into a small element of uh, one element of the array. Okay. So the next thing I have to do is I've got to write a loop. But before doing that, I need to create an associative array since it can pick, uh, it can, we can access the element of the associative array with a string. I was considering each of these characters become a key of an element in that associative array. And then whenever I loop and I find a similar character, I can simply increment the value of that element in the associative array. Let me, let me write it. it. It will make more sense when I write it. So I go ahead and I just do where i is equal to zero, i is less than, of course, uh, characters dot length, and then I will increment the value by one. Okay. The very first thing is uh, if I want to go ahead and uh, store these things into an associative array, it's better to create one first, right? So I will go and say. Uh, CNT character count is equal, or uh, let's call it letter count. Letters count equal. Uh, keep in mind, this is how you declare an associative array. Instead of a square bracket, I'll put curly bracket in there, right? So uh, what I can do now is I can simply go ahead and say, if you remember, I can uh, access any element of the associative array with a string, like I can say B. A, B, C, 1, or whatever I want, right? So now that this array contains all the characters I have in the str, what I can do is I can simply go ahead and access the array element at the first index, right? And simply do plus equal 1, whatever is in there, or I can simply say plus plus, right? So I'm saying in this location of a letter count, let's say the very first character is S. So the very first thing is, this is what happens. So it simply looks to see if the key S exists and whatever value is stored in that element will be incremented by one, right? So now the other thing I have to do is I gotta make sure this element exists. If it doesn't, I have to create one I have to create one and assign a value, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say if, uh, let me just go ahead and copy this, makes my life easier here. So I go and say if is not equal or is equal equal undefined. Remember when you declare an array, all the elements by default are like any other variables in JavaScript will be undefined, right? So I'm saying if this is undefined, simply uh, create this and make it equal zero, right? So as you can see, I'm checking if the, uh, this is undefined, if it doesn't contain any value, if it doesn't key, it doesn't exist in this case, uh, simply we'll create one and make it zero. So as soon as the if statement is finished, it simply will go and increment this value by one. Now, if the character repeat, for instance, if you have many S, uh, associative array will not create a new element because everything is based on a unique key. It simply access the element and increment the current value by one. Let's go ahead 
and run this. So I will go ahead and write another one. Uh, var i n letter count, right? So I'm writing another loop to actually print these values. So I'll go console.log and I will just simply go ahead and print the value. Okay. Let me go ahead and open the browser and see how does it look like. So I would just refresh. Okay, it's not a bad idea to actually write which character. You can see the numbers are there. In order to get the character, which are the keys of these associative array, I can just print. I can just print i because i keeps the index of this array, right? I can even put equal here so it makes more sense. I'll go back, refresh, here you go. So 1 is 3 times, 2 is 2 times, 3 is 3 times, S, uh, 5 is 6 times, and so on, right? And we have 1 spaces, right? So as you can see, S repeated 6 times. Let me go and make this one a bit simpler so you all can see it better. A, B, C, A, B, C. I refresh, go back to the page. So A 2 times, B 2 times, and C 3 times. So one more time, we create this string. We split the string to get an array. And then we create an associative array by using a curly bracket. We loop through the array we create that contains all the characters as the individual elements. We check if associative array has the key that is in the array containing the character and that is not there or is undefined. I will simply create one and make it equal zero. Next line, I will just increment value of that element of associative array contains this character as a key. Later on, I just loop through it and I print all the value. I hope you enjoy the video.